These are fifth grade students and they are doing a game called Who Took the Cookies from the Cookie Jar? We have about 13 or 14 goals up here. Uh, we have 50 balls in the middle and one at a time they'll come to the middle and they'll steal one of the cookies from the cookie jar. When all the cookies are gone from the cookie jar, then they'll start taking from each other. In this particular version of the game, the people from this side over here can only steal from the people on the opposite side. And the people from this side can only steal from the opposite side. So one at a time, they may go in. They cannot steal directly from each other, but only from the goals. Okay, you guys ready? Go! It's a really fun game. Kids enjoy it. Uh, what we do though, in the, in the regular version of who took the cookies from the cookie jar, usually there's just four cookie jars and one in the middle and you go until you get a certain number. And I like this better because uh, in that version, there, there's a little bit of a line of people. We really don't have a line here. We have uh, just two per goal. And then kids are getting a lot of touches. Now once they're gone from the middle, then they can go to the other side and start taking. Like these guys are going all the way over there. They're, they're running the whole length of the gym and they're really getting a lot of exercise. And we've experimented with different time limits. Uh, uh, a shorter time limit, like three or four minutes, seems to work better. And then when three or four minutes is up, uh, we just stop and we tell them if you have a, when time runs out, if you have a ball, you can take it back, but you can't go steal a new one. And then we just count how many we have, and then we, we start again. 